So we have two statement variables, p and q, and we're going to define what's called the conjunction of p and q. So of p and q. And the symbol that we use is p and q. That's how you read it. You read this as uh, p and q, and it's called the conjunction. And basically, this will only be true when P and Q are both true. Let's go ahead and make a truth table uh, for this. So we have P, and then here we have Q, and then here we have P and Q. So now we need to list all the possible truth values for P and Q. So one simple case is where they're both true. So P is true and Q is true. Another simple case would be P is cr true and Q is false. And then we can alternate these so P is false and Q is true. And the very last case would be when they're both uh, false uh, statements. So now we just have to figure out what is the truth value of uh, P and Q. So P and Q, go ahead and write my little lines here. <laughs> so P and Q will only be true when they're both true. So that's going to be the first case here. So if P is Q and, true, and Q is true, then they're both true. As the name implies, uh, you want them both to be true, hence the, the use of the word and, right? So P and Q is true only when both are true. So in this case here, Q is false. So it is not true that they're both true. So this would be false. Likewise, in this third case here, P is false. So it is not true that they're both true. So it's false. And if they're both false, then it's definitely false. So this would be the truth table for uh, P and Q. Again, P and Q is only true when both P and Q are true. I hope this video has been helpful.